Hey friends, I'm Chase, and this is Maria Jose. At the moment, we live in our converted van with our dogs, Jake and Pablo. To say we've traveled a lot this year would be an understatement, and now we're on a mission to find the next thing to live in, or build on. Enough about that though, we're having fun for now, so let's get into this week's adventures. It's just after midnight. I left Mortmar and drove past Bombay Beach and I'm about six miles outside of Nyland. I'm actually at a marina slash boat launch area. Hopefully I can stay here. Yeah, so earlier I heard this truck go by and uh, Pablo started growling. I turned off all the lights and peeked out and I couldn't see anything. It's like pitch black out here, no no moon tonight. Then it goes quiet for a while and I'm watching Jack Black, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. I hear someone shouting and then I hear a woman shouting and then I hear a man shouting. The shouting gets closer and closer and closer and Pablo's starting to go crazy. I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't know if he was coming towards me. So I got out and now we are where we are. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a little on edge tonight, but uh, that's part of it. It happens. I think I'm just gonna sleep on the sofa tonight in the event that, I, I mean, I could drive with the bed down, but it's a lot easier for me to get up and off the sofa. So I think that's the plan. <sighs> All right, I'm going, to, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. I woke up to a strange calm, unlike the events that unfolded the night before. The Salton Sea has a post-apocalyptic feel, a sort of beyond decaying paradise, barely the shell of what it once was, yet it's still somehow magnificent and beautiful. So I've been trying to figure out how to get this hat to look good on my head, and I finally figured it out. The mustache is truly the only way to make this hat look good on me, guys. I need this. I really like this hat. It was a gift from Maria Jose, and I just haven't been able to wear it because I haven't had the stash. So please, I know we've talked about it before. I know you all in large part don't like the mustache, but I think I've got to keep it at least through the summer so I can get some like sun on this jawline here. I don't need any sun on the lip. I freckled there anyway, but like right here, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of pale in comparison to the rest of my face. Probably gonna head to San Diego, which is German for a whale's. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat my breakfast. Throughout time, not just in modern history, the Salton Sea has gone through countless natural wet and dry phases. So I'm not here to speculate on its current demise. What we know for sure is the water level is dropping in part to evaporation and in part, ironically, to a reduction of the agricultural runoff that has caused so many of the problems in the first place. And no surprise, the government has a lack of urgency to find a solution to save the sea. The temperature here in the Imperial Valley is 104 degrees today, so the dogs and I decided we'd skip exploring around the sea for now and head to fairer weather, across the mountains to San Diego. I really need to change the toilet. And I'm driving to San Diego right now. I don't want to do this, but I, I need to. I always enjoy parking during the day at Fiesta Island, as there's enough room to let the dogs stretch their legs a bit, and it gives me a great opportunity to catch up on work for the day. The sky 
So I just got invited to Ski Beach for some mimosas, one of our friend's birthdays, I think. Um, but before then, I had to stop by Plant Power and get a strawberry milkshake. I also got some of their buffalo wings. Mmm, look at that. They smell fan-freaking-tastic. And then, I'm not going to open this yet, but I got one of their buffalo chicken sandwiches. And holy smokes, I'm excited about it. And... The vibe there passes the vibe check, and their milkshakes are pretty dang good. Oop. Dang it. That did not pass the vibe check. Sometimes we choose to put the camera away and be entirely in the moment, and my time here in San Diego was that way. I said see you later to some friends and took off to Phoenix to pick Maria Jose up. I just pulled in at the cell phone parking lot and I think Maria Jose still has about an hour before she lands. So, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and I think about 30 minutes before she gets here, I'm gonna try and throw together some something to eat, just something quick for her because I don't think she's eaten. I'm not sure where we're gonna stay. We may just go back to trust the old Apache Junction and hope we don't get shot at. Did we ever tell you guys about that? Like someone was shooting like very close to our vehicle late at night. Very strange, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and catch the dog's reactions when, when we pick her up. They're gonna be stoked. I'm stoked. They've missed her, I've missed her. They have no idea what's going on. Do you like my mustache? I know I always ask you that. I like it. I think it looks good with this hat. It might make me look like an old man, but that's cool. You know, I'm in my 30s now. And I've had gray hair since I was 18. And I've been balding since I was 18. I have made Maria Jose a spaghetti. This was our first time back to the dunes since we were here with our dear friend Aubrey, and the weather couldn't have been more different. Maybe the next time we come, we'll have our own Can-Am to full send on the dunes. You're taking a pee, huh? Is it too hot for your party? Because I don't think he's liking it. Let me help you. That's too hot, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. It's too hot. Hi, friends. I missed you. I got back from Chicago a couple of days ago, and it was so weird being without the boys. And I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> All I know is freaking hot here in California. We drove from Phoenix and now we're in Glamis Dunes, which we were here two years ago with the bus. It wasn't this hot. Today, the dogs could not even walk. Their paticas were like tick, 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 tick. And I came with no shoes and I burned the butt of my feet. It's almost 100 degrees out here, friends. It's hot.
If you haven't guessed by now, we're heading back to San Diego. The weather has already moved into 105 degrees and warmer, and the coast is looking better by the minute. Good morning, friends. We made it to a ski beach here in San Diego. We spent a wonderful night. And when we wake up, we saw so much trash around that Chase decided to go in a little adventure to clean around the beach. I think he threw away around three bags, big bags of trash. It's pretty sad because it is a very cool place and people should be taking care of it. But, you know, live a place better than you found it. The day is beautiful here in San Diego. We have a lot of work to get done. So this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing all day, editing and getting some work done. After probably almost two full days of working non-stop, even more than two days, right? Yeah. Today, finally, we're done. And the day is beautiful. So all day, I've been peeking outside the window to just be like, it looks nice. People look like they're having fun. <laughs> so finally, it's our time to go and have fun. I'm excited for some food because we haven't eaten lunch. That's my way of telling Chase, like, let's get some food. But of course, van life will not be complete without having to fix something. <laughs> well, explain what happened, Chase. We noticed for a little while that um, the upper cabinet was starting to sag a little bit. And um, it's one thing when you're looking at it from below but we hadn't taken everything out of our drawers to really identify how much it's sagging. I suppose just the weight of everything uh, in our upper cabinets caused um, the center to um, rip off the pocket hole screw, um, but now it looks it looks good. Looks like it's supposed to, so that's good news. Puñito. Get yourself a man that can fix stuff in your van or learn wiggity, how wiggity, to do wiggity, it yourself. Wiggity. Yeah. show everybody what we got? Oh, yeah, I have no clue, to be honest. I told Marose to just choose whatever. Uh, I do know these. This is like a, a crab something or other. That looks good. It smells good too. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. These look good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. After the healing sounds of the waves in La Jolla, we drove up to Sunset Cliffs to snag what we were certain was going to be the most epic sunset ever. So I have been tasked with telling you where we are at and it's been a very long time since we've been here. So friends, welcome to Sunset Cliffs here in beautiful, normally sunny Southern California. And uh, we drove up here with Jake and Heather to see the sunset. From San Diego, we have drive to the flower field, which was around 30 minutes from here. We pick one of the days they look the they look the best and now it's raining <laughs> but I'm excited we're here with Jake and Heather and we're a little late because we got lost so hopefully they still let us in it looks beautiful from here so I'm excited to check it out they did in fact still let us in but at $20 per person entry fee the flower fields would definitely be on the upper end of what I would consider a quick visit attraction it was pretty, green tape aside, but was significantly more restrictive than any of us had been led to believe. Friends, question. Yeah. Would you recommend the flower field? 
Mm. I would, but I think it's one of those things that's like, don't go out of your way, but it is yeah. beautiful. It is very pretty. Yes. And if you're traveling on a budget, mm, not worth it because yeah. <laughs> it was we spent, bucks. what was it, 100 bucks no, for the four yeah, of us? No, it was 20 bucks each. 20 bucks each for the four yeah. of us. So. But right, it is beautiful. It is pretty. It's mm -hmm. pretty. It's huge. Mm -hmm. If you got nothing else going on, check it out. What do you think, babe? <laughs> I wouldn't come. <laughs> Personally. Flowers are cool, colors are rad, but I don't know. There's a lot of green tape. You know, I was kind of disappointed because like in all the pictures that we saw, everybody kind of like walk in and it looked a little bit more like, I don't know. It looks like a touristy trap and everything is like tape and there's like this green rug. It's pretty. I'm not mad that we came because like it's a good start for our day, but I will, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Well, the good news about today, after a little fraud <laughs> of the flower field, no, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. That's all I can continue saying. No, it was great. Um, we haven't eat, so we decided that we're gonna check out a restaurant, and Heather actually found it. Did I? I thought you found it. Oh, really? I thought you found it first. Oh. And then I was like, okay, it looks good. We should go. <laughs> cool. I hope it's good. All I care about is there's mimosas. So, about Naked Cafe, neither it nor the mimosas disappointed. On our way back to San Diego, we spotted our friends Laura and Cody, so we stopped for a quick hug and a short celebration over their newly installed solar panels. We got invited by our friends Jake and Heather. We're having dinner at their van. I'm excited for some vegan pasta. Are you excited, Chase? Hello! Hi, friends! Are you ready? Yeah! Can we come in? Of course! Take this advice and hold it close. If there's one thing to find on the road, it's friends that have a noodle maker and an espresso machine in their van. The homemade ravioli Heather prepared for us was quite possibly one of the best meals we've eaten in years. And well, margaritas are always good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Goodness! Vegan mushroom crystals. That looks fantastic. Oh, the sound? Are you kidding me? The next day we chose to relax before a drive up the shore to Cardiff by the Sea, where we were invited to our first true California beach party and bonfire. If you've ever heard us mention how amazing this community is, this group is a shining example of why we love it so much. We'll be settling in San Diego for the next few weeks, and we cannot wait to bring you along for the ride. But more on that next week.